Growing up in Bolivia with parents who were evangelical missionaries, I benefited from going to a Spanish-speaking church on Sundays, my parents' mission organization's prayer meetings on Wednesdays, and a Christian K-12 school five days a week. I liked a lot of what I learned about Jesus, but the teaching that people who died without trusting in Christ for salvation would suffer in an everlasting hell was very disturbing to me and made less and less sense to me as I grew older. Fast forward to 2019, I was living in Japan and teaching English. I had read quite a bit on the topics of predestination and free will, the extent of the atonement, the nature of hell, and many other theological ideas, and I was finally open to the idea that universal salvation might make the most sense of the Bible's teachings after reading Robin Perry's essay in the second edition of Four Views on Hell. Then when I was reading David Bentley Hart's book that had just been released, That All Shall Be Saved, I was convinced. God's justice is based in his love. No one will be estranged from God forever. Humanity is all interconnected and made in God's image, and one day everyone will be holy and happy. Universal salvation seems to me to be the most consistent way to understand the Bible, to hold God's love and justice together, and to feel secure in the plans of God. I decided I wanted to make a documentary presenting universal salvation as a valid and important theological option for Christians. I started working on the documentary while still living in Japan, but eventually I bought a car and drove to various places in the United States and Canada to interview people about their understandings of the nature of hell and the character of God. I was able to interview Thomas Talbot in person, David Bentley Hart over Zoom, and I even sent my sister who lives in Oxford to go interview Robin Perry in the UK. There are many other interviews in the documentary as well, and I hope the movie is beneficial for people who are searching for a way to better understand and trust in the loving character of God who never gives up on anyone.